Do, 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 do. Yeah. So I get this question all the time. Whenever you're calling property owners and they ask you, how did you get my phone number? What do you say? So that's what we're gonna get into today. But first, I wanna let you know, I'm over 70 deals pending and closed so far. We're mid-June right now, so that's a heck of an accomplishment. I'm putting out two videos every single week, giving you tips and different things for real estate agents to use and get out there and crush it. Just teaching everybody everything I know. So I spend a lot of time on this, and everything I do is 100% free. So show me some love and click subscribe and hit the bell. And find me on Instagram as well, and hit me up on the DM, agents are hitting me up all day long and I answer every single question. Okay, so let's get into the content. So you're making cold calls and a property owner asks you how you got their phone number. Okay, so there's a couple things right off the bat. Number one is this is a small little miniature roadblock. You should never let anything get in your way. Um, especially something like this. Don't let anything like this stop you or trip you up. You just need to go right over it like nothing happened. Um, a lot of times, especially in the beginning of my career, you know, I like the phrase fake it till you make it. I like to use that a lot because really when, it, when you boil it all down, it means have no fear and just go for it and act like you've been there before. And I think that's the way you should approach a lot of these little situations that trip a lot of people up. But I think when somebody asks you that question, that you should just turn around. You can say anything. I'll tell you what I would say here in a minute, but whatever you say, say it quickly and don't make it an issue. If you make it a big deal and you make it an issue, then it's gonna be an issue. But if you downplay it and act like it's no big thing and keep moving forward with the conversation and take it where you want it, which is how in the world can I help you in terms of buying or selling real estate, then the conversation is gonna go where you want it to go. Another thing is tone. You know, most of the things you say, it's not really what you say, but how you say it. So when you're talking to these people, you know, be very relaxed and calming and, you know, don't seem nervous. And like I say, fake it till you make it, you know, take the approach that you've been there before and this is no big thing and we're going to get to the bottom of this. Another point is, is when they ask you that, they may already be an unhappy camper. They may not want you calling. They may be unhappy about that right off the bat. I don't get a lot of people asking me where, where I got their phone number. I, if you look at the videos of me making cold calls, I don't believe, it's been a long, long time uh, before somebody asked me where I got their phone number from. So I think the question is asked very little. And I think agents just worry about you know, people asking them certain things, what am I gonna say? And really guys, 90% of the things that you worry about never happen. So there's no need even worrying about it, right? I think this is just another something for you guys to worry about that's never gonna happen. And if it does, it's no big deal. But I think if somebody does ask you that, they're kinda of caught off guard, they're wondering who you are, why you're calling, how you got the number, right? And I would just simply say, I found it online right? Be truthful with them. I think most everybody's answers to questions like this is just tell the truth. Um, you know, the truth will set you free. This is a really good, you know, um, situation for just telling the truth. Um, but another thing I'd like to say, just so I don't necessarily want to call out the company that actually I actually got the phone number from, I'll say that I have a bunch of different sources online you know, I don't know exactly where I found your number, but it was online. But anyway, like I was saying, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but a house down the road sold. I didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. Just follow the phone script. Just keep on going with the phone script like nothing happened. Just go right over that little road bump, smooth it right on out, and keep pressing forward and find out where the conversation is going to go. They may have brought that up because they don't want that conversation. They're just, they don't want to talk to you, and that's fine. You know, when people hang up on me, it doesn't matter to me. You'll even see it in my, uh, when I'm making live cold calls uh, video where I hung up on a couple people, right? I hung up on them before they could hang up, hang up on me because I saw where the conversation was going. They weren't interested. They're just negative people and I don't got time for negative people. So 
Anyway, that's what I would say if, if someone asked me where I got their number, I would just tell them the truth, I would smooth it over, and I would keep going. Just remember that it's not what you say, it's how you say it, and 90% of the things that you worry about happening are never going to happen, and so you don't even need to be worried about it. So that's what I got for that. I hope you guys got something out of it. Like I said, click subscribe and hit the bell. Hit me up on Instagram and the DM. I'm answering every single message and we'll talk to you guys soon.